everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Faye, and this is my world. Today's topic is, don't believe he's changed. Don't believe it. Don't believe just because when a man says, I've changed, that he really has changed. Before we get started, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now to get us started, I did pull a short video. Let's watch this video and we have a letter. I'm gonna read this letter and dive into this topic. When a man say he's changed, don't believe it. He must show it. Here we go. When a man doesn't wanna change, he will find a girl that's okay with his lifestyle so that he doesn't have to grow up. That's why these weak men will accuse a strong woman of having an attitude, but she actually just has standards and boundaries. She's not going to put up with your foolishness, and she's going to require you to be a good man. And eventually you're going to leave and accuse her of being too masculine or independent for the simple fact she held you accountable for your actions. Ladies, don't ever think you are not enough for a man. Sometimes you are just too much. All right, let's read this letter. She says, my DL Narc ex-husband has reached out to me and apologized for everything he has done to me. I am 26 years old. I cut my ex off in the summer due to harassment and I hadn't spoken to him until yesterday evening. He called me saying how much he missed his daughter and just wanted to see her. This made me feel terrible. Not so much for him, but more so for our daughter. If he's a narcissist, <laughs> he's not really good for your daughter. Okay, let's see what else you say. He lives abroad. And he is now willing to fly to us to meet us. Before at this point, he was adamant and that wanted me to fly to him. His heart seems to have softened and he seems to be more empathetic of my situation than he was before. Well, he's showing this because he wants to, to bring you back in. He says he just wants to make things right for his daughter and give her a good life. He is also expecting us to be able to visit him in his country at some point. There was physical abuse in the relationship, so I'm very apprehensive. However, I don't want to be the one to block his relationship with his daughter because of my personal feelings especially now that he's reaching out and begging. <laughs> I want to give him the opportunity to meet with his child, and he's not seen her in well over a year. Am I making a mistake? Okay, you say that he's physically abusive, and he wants to uh, visit to spend time with his daughter. Well... It can be done in a way he doesn't have to come to live at your place. But uh, narcissists, they don't change. They've already changed. They're demonic. Okay. Now, if he um, wants to spend this much time with his daughter, uh, he can come over here. You say he's abroad. He can come over and stay in the hotel. And then, you know. The daughter, I don't, you didn't say how old your daughter was, but if she's very young and you have to go with her to meet with him, you can meet him for lunch or whatever like that. He can go on to, back to his hotel. He doesn't have to be with you just to visit his daughter. Okay. So there are ways that you can work it out. But what you need to understand is you are protecting your daughter from him. He's a narcissist. He should not be alone with your daughter, especially if she's a young age, because he can do things to her <laughs> that cannot be undone. Okay. Protect your daughter. Protect yourself. You say that he was 
physically abusive. You don't want to be back with this man at all. And you are doing the right thing. And I think it would be a mistake for you to uh, take your daughter over there. I don't know if you have family wherever he is or whatever. You can stay with your family and he can peep his daughter or whatever. But think about this. Has he done anything for his daughter? Is he financially supporting his daughter? Is he talking to her on the phone? Is he doing anything or just begging you? Is he just begging you to either come there or he comes here to see his daughter? If he's not supporting her, I wouldn't pay any attention to him. I would not pay any attention to him. When your daughter gets old enough, if she wants to uh, be in her father's life, then that's her decision. But she needs to be protected if she is a young child right now from him. If he's on the DL and he's a narcissist, he's evil. And she doesn't need to be around that. Okay? It's really up to you. You know your situation better than I know your situation. I'm only going by what you said in the letter. He's physically abusive. You don't need to be with him. And you need to protect your daughter from him. Because when he gets upset, if he's physically abusive, that physically abuse is going to come back again. He hasn't changed. It's still there. That evil is still there. He uh, He's a DL, which means that he's going around sleeping with men. He's evil. He's destructive. The narcissist is out to destroy you and he'll use your daughter to do it. Be very, very careful with this. Okay. But if I were you, I would not go out of my way to make this happen. And I would not feel terrible that he is not in your daughter's life. You are protecting your daughter from him. Okay. Realize what's going on here. Don't feel bad at all. Love your daughter. Shield her. But don't fall into the trap of this narcissist. Because this narcissist only will use you and your daughter for supply. The narcissist is incapable of loving anybody. There's no love in the narcissist for anybody. Everything is self-serving. Okay? So if he's begging you, you know, saying that he wants your daughter, it may be you that he wants. He wants to get that supply from you again. Okay? But that doesn't say he's not getting supply from everybody that he comes in contact with. It's the same thing. If he is truly a narcissist, he is an evil being and your daughter needs to be protected from him. And I don't care how much he begs. I don't care how much he begs. Is he fully supporting your daughter? Financially. If he isn't, I would ignore him. Period. Period. And I wouldn't keep accepting his calls either. Let him write a letter. <laughs> you see, close that door so that he won't keep hoovering you, trying to bring you back in. If he is that concerned about his daughter, I don't, you didn't say in the letter. If she's uh, very young, a teenager or what. But if she is very young, it's your job to protect her. I hope you understand the message today. And I really hope that it helps. These narcissists don't change. They already changed into an evil being. It would take spiritual healing. Deep, deep spiritual healing for them to change. And I doubt it if this man has gone through that. I hope you understand the message today. And I hope that I've said something that can help someone. Now, those of you who may have a question that you'd like for me to answer, 
my email address is in the description. And if you're looking for today's affirmation, the link is also in the description. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and your letters. And a very special thank you to those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.